So how can you get a random number in JavaScript? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. To start off, the basis of everything that's random in JavaScript is the math.random function. So we can call this guy, just say math.random, and it doesn't take any parameters, anything whatsoever. All it does is when you call it, it returns a number between 0 and 1. And that is 0 inclusive and 1 exclusive. So you're never going to get 1, but we, you might actually get 0. And we can actually store that inside the variable, let's say r from random, and we can just console log this so we can see it properly. And if I run this, you'll notice I get a random number and another random number and so on. Now, a key difference that you might notice between this implementation and other languages st standard library implementations is that you don't have control over the seed of uh, the random numbers. You just call a function and it's going to give you a random number and it's, going to be, and it's going to be random every single time, right? So every time I run this, it's going to be a different number more or less, right? Unless I actually hit a uh, second time the same number, but most of the time it's going to be different. So keep that in mind. It, there's no way you can actually change the seed of uh, random generation numbers for this uh, specific function, right? So, okay, that's fine, that's fine, but how can I actually get a number from 0 to 10 using this implementation? Is there a way I can pass in parameters? No, there isn't. You have to actually process the uh, random number you get. How can you actually translate the 0 to 1 interval into a 0 to 10? That's actually very simple. If you are to multiply this guy by 10, you would get numbers from 0 through 10. Right? If I now run this a few times, you'll notice I get uh, higher numbers. But why is that? Well, that's actually very simple. Let's say you, you were to get from this random number, the number 0 0.2. And since you're multiplying that by 10, you're actually going to get 2.0, right? Same thing goes if you were to get 0 0.89, right? That's a pretty high number in the interval 0 to 1. If we multiply that by 10, you'll get, well, what do you know, 8.9, which is between 0 and 10. Okay, so now you can get numbers from 0 through 10, 0 inclusive and 10 exclusive. Well, okay, this is nice, but I want actual integers. Well, how can we do that? That's very simple. All you have to do is just floor the numbers. There's a function called math.floor that simply transforms any number that is, let's say, 0 0.5, it floors it down to 0, or 7.3 floors it down to 7, and so on. Basically truncating the decimal part. So now, if I math.floor this thing, and run it a couple times, you'll notice I get random numbers between 0 and, well, 9. I cannot ever get 10. Why? That's because 10 is exclusive. Why is it exclusive? Because Remember, math.random can only give us uh, numbers from 0 to 1, but 1 is exclusive. So we can never get 1 here. So if we were to get 1 here, we will get actually 10. But since we can never get that, we will always get a number less than 10. So 9.99, let's say, right? And if we get 9.99, since we are using math.floor, we're actually going to floor that number down to, well, nine okay so that's why you cannot get 10 here but we can change that we can change that however we want in fact it's actually very simple to change the interval so not only can we change it so that it's larger so instead of 0 to 1 to be 0 to whatever how much we want we can actually just move it from one place in the axis to another so if we if we for example uh want to move our interval from it being 0 through 10 we want it to be 50 5 to 15, we can we can just move it to the right. How? The operation is very simple, just by adding to the result. So if we, for example, add here the number 1, think about what's going to happen here. I'm going to launch this a few times. And, oh, you notice I get 10 now. That's because what happened? Well, we might have got uh, here 0 0.9 something. That got translated to uh, 9 point something, point I don't know what. And then if you add 
one to this, you're going to get 10, 10 point something. And if you floor that, you're going to get exactly 10. But now, because we're actually adding one every single time, if we ever get, let's say, uh, 0 0.05 on this thing, right? If we get 0 0.05, right? If you multiply that by 10, you're going to get, as a result, 0 0.5. And if you floor that, you should get zero. But since we're adding one to it, right, we're going to get 1.5. That's going to be floored to one. So we can never ever get zero now. No, but now we can get 10. So by simply adding, you're basically moving the result interval to the right or to the left. Depends what you want to do. If you are just uh, adding a positive number that works. If you're adding a negative number, it's going to move it backwards, right? If I say here negative, let's say one, I should be getting negative one, there it is, right? So I can now get negative one, but I can no longer get um, nine, right? So to change it to a five, to get results from five to 15, we simply have to add five here and now any result that was actually going to be floored to zero from here is going to be floored to five because, well, zero point whatever plus five is five point whatever, right? So when you floor that, you're going to get exactly five. And the same goes with, for example, nine point something, 9.4, for example. If you get 9.4 from this multiplication, if you add five to it, you're going to get, well, what? 14.4. And when you floor that, you're actually going to get 14, right? So as you can see, I'm getting numbers from uh, from 5 to 15, exclusive. So now let's try to create a function that if we give it the interval we want, so for example, if you give it 5 and 15, it's going to return to us an integer between 5 and 15, exclusive 15, because that's that's how it works right now. So how can we do that? Well, let's start with just saying here a function and let's call it get random because it kind of makes sense So get random. And we have two parameters, our minimum and our maximum. And what do we want to return? Well, we definitely want to call math.random, but what do we multiply it with? Well, we can backtrack a little. So we can take a look at this example, right? We were getting results from five through 15, but why? That's because our, so we have uh, moved our interval to the right by five points by adding, but we have also uh, increased the size of our inter interval by 10. But why 10? Because we want numbers from five to 15, right? We want just numbers from five to 15. I'm gonna call this here, this is an interval basically. Well, we got a number by actually subtracting the beginning of the interval from the end of the interval, right? So you got 15 minus five, which is 10. So what's that? Well, our, in our case, we have in the, in the function that we are trying to create, we have what we have, this is the minimum and this is the maximum, right? So we want to subtract this from this, right? So we want to say just times max minus min, right? So if we give it five and 15, you're going to get 10. If you give it zero and 10, you're going to get 10 as well, because 10 minus zero is 10. So that's basically the size of our interval. Now we need to know where to move it because, well, let's say if I want results from five to 15, if I just multiply it, we're just going to get results from zero through 10 because we're going to multiply uh, by 15 minus five, right? So this, uh, these are going to be 15 and so max is going to be 15 and min is going to be five and it's going to be 10 and we're just going to multiply by 10. But that we know we get uh, the interval zero and 10. So that's not correct. We need to move it by some amount. But, but how much do we need to move it? Well, we know that the minimum that we should get from this uh, get random function is well, min here. So if the minimum is five, we need our interval to start at five. So we need to move it by five points. Basically, we have to add min to it. And even if min is a negative number, remember, if we add um, positive numbers, we move it to the right of the axis. But if we add negative numbers, if we subtract five from it, we're going to actually uh, move it to the left of the axis. So it kind of makes sense. So that's why we're going to add min to this thing. 
So now, if we actually call this, instead of saying maps.floor times that, we're going to say get random, and we give it, let's say, 5 and 15 as we had before. And let's also call this multiple times so that we don't have to keep on calling this. So we can just say a for loop here, so just an i. And just like so. And now if I run this, from that, you'll notice I get numbers between 5 and 15. I get 14 here, 14.49. I get 5.4. I get everything in between. And if I change this, so if I change this to, let's say, 0 and 10, this will still work. This will still give us results from 0 through 10. And it's not going to add to the result. We're not going to move the actual uh, interval from the axis because the axis is already in the right place and this mean is zero so that's correct we don't need to move it anymore and of course if we actually pass in negative numbers let's say we want numbers from negative 15 to negative 5 you'll notice that this also works so we get the proper numbers in this interval right so this works for both positive and negative numbers because well the difference is always going to be positive if you, if you actually pass in proper mean and max numbers, right? So in our case, uh, mean is less than max. So if I subtract uh, from minus five, minus 15, we're gonna get exactly 10. So that's going to still multiply by 10. And we're just gonna subtract 15 from it because we have to move it all the way to the left. And then of course, if you really want to get integers instead of just floating point numbers, we can just say math.floor of this whole thing and there you go if you now try this you'll notice we get numbers from uh, negative 15 to negative 5. so i hope this has been useful if you have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server thank you so much for watching and well take care bye